Hey what's up guys, Sam here, and today I'm going to be showing you the ultimate Discord server setup in 2020. So this video will be a lot of my older videos combined and updated into one to give you a general overview of how to grow your Discord server. So growing a Discord server in 2020 is a lot more about retaining members than getting members in the first place. And a way to retain members is to configure the user experience to make it more enjoyable for the user and therefore make them want to stay. So in this video I'm going to be showing you the full process from setting up your server, to growing your server, to keeping it active. So to begin, I'm just going to create a test server. I'm just going to call it test server. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the Discord expert server, link to the description. I'm going to head to the get setup bot channel and click this link right here. This will redirect you to a Discord where you just click the server you want to add it to, press continue, then click authorize and it will ask you to fill in a captcha, just press I'm not a robot. And if it asks you to do this, then just fill in the captcha and continue. So as you can see, setup bot is now on the server. I'm going to go ahead and purchase the premium version of the bot since I want to get more features. I'll be back in one minute. All right, so I've gone ahead and purchased the bot. I'm just going to copy my code and go back to my server and paste it in. All of the bots are free for the base plan, but if you want upgraded features like I've done here, you can purchase a code from the website and use that. All right, so the first step is this is for both the premium and the free version. Just do DE exclamation mark setup and press enter. All you have to do is answer yes or no to these questions and it will begin to make channels and roles and rules and all that at the side. So it goes very in depth, especially with the premium version, as you, it might take a few seconds in between each request as it has to make each channel for 8,500 guilds. So it takes a while to process. So I'm just going to create a business server because why not? And I'm going to create business. I'm going to replace my staff with the business roles. It goes in depth, especially with whatever category you choose as completely different channels, rules, etc. It also includes auto role. So whenever someone joins, they'll get the member role, which I'll show you in a second will be created. So if we head up to our settings and roles, you'll see the member roles created. You can rename this to any role you want, change the color, display it separately, do whatever you want. And as long as you have the bot on the server, whenever someone joins, that role will automatically be applied to them through this bot. It's also set up assign roles. This is this is a premium option. And assign roles is basically it sets up colors. So for example, if I want the red color, there you go, I've red. You can remove red just by clicking it again and change it to blue or whatever kind of colors you want. These can be changed if you head up to the roles. You can change the colors of each of these. So once you have the server set up done, you want to head to your rules channel and you'll see, please make sure to fill out your rules. So I'm going to head to my commands channel and do DE exclamation mark rules. So I'm going to use pre-made rules since it's faster. So can people swear here? No. Can people's NSOW images here? No. And I ask you what channel you'd like. I'm going to choose my hashtag rules channel. And as you can see your rules here now, you can delete this message. And then all your rules are set to go. So after you do this, I would recommend beginning customization of your server. So I'm going to head to uh, font generator. And so for example, for the general channel, you can choose any of these fonts, such as this one, then you can head back to your server, edit channel and paste that in. It sort of sets your server apart from all the other servers who would have sort of general setups like these. It makes your server different, sets it apart, and especially with your server's icon as well. It needs to be eye-catching and make people sort of make people want to click it more than it wouldn't blend in with all the other ones. So keeping it default is definitely not recommended for if you're trying to um, entice people to join your server. So once you have it customized to your liking and your server is all set up, the next step would be to move to Automator. So Automator is the bot that basically grows your server. So I'm going to click to invite it here. And you go to test server again. And just the same steps as the last bot. Make sure you leave all the permissions on for all the bots. And then you'll get a DM welcoming the bot. Same with this one. And next you want to head to your server and you'll see Automator has been invited. So to begin setting up Automator, you want to type dash setup. Next you want to find a channel to use. So I'm going to create a channel in the partners category called auto partners. Since this, is, this bot runs automatically. So I'm going to do dash setup hashtag auto partners. And next I'm going to type in my advertisement. So what's recommended for your advertisement is to make it eye catching and make people want to click it. So for example, using multiple lines such as welcome to my server, then adding things such as new community looking for active members and things like needs staff, just add emoji. So it will pop out more because if I'll, I'll show you the normal type of ads that you get in our channel, 
as you can see, a lot of them are just quite basic and they wouldn't really attract people to join. So having emojis to separate it really makes it stand out against others, like even having it in the name. So I'm going to head back here. I'm going to finish my advertisement. So I'm going to choose video games and lots of gaming channels. And there you go. It's now set up to the auto partners channel. You'll get your first advertisement within about three hours of adding the bot since your server has to register in our database. If you want to upgrade this bot as well, you can. You can also do that in the shop to get two times partners. So a partner every 30 minutes or six times partners. So your ad gets sent out every 10 minutes, which is pretty insane growth. So if you're looking for insane growth, definitely check out the website if you want to go faster. Other than that, as I've said, all the bots base plans are completely free. So now that you've automated set up, I'm going to head back to the Discord experts and get the final bot, which is Hydrobot. Hydrobot is an all in one activity booster for your server. So I'm going to invite to test server here, authorize. I'm not a robot. But you'll get a DM saying how to use it. I, again, as it says here, make sure you leave all the permissions on for all the bots so they all function properly. So when Hydro gets invited, all you need to do is type plus config to begin the configuration. So the first thing we'll ask you is how many points would you like to be added every one minute of messaging? So basically, as you type in chat, every one minute it detects your typing, it will add this amount of points to your user. So I'm going to say 25. And what prefix would you like to use? I'm just going to use the default prefix, which is plus. So now you can view your config with plus config view or whatever prefix you chose. If you forget the prefix anytime, just mention Hydro by doing at Hydro and you'll see it will say the guild's prefix is and then the prefix there. So what you can use these points in is the shop. So plus shop, you see your shop there. So there's nothing in the shop right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make a role, for example, called trusted. Trusted. I'm going to make it yellow. I'm going to put it up here. Whenever you're making any roles for the store, make sure the Hydro role is above it because otherwise Hydro cannot add it to members when they buy it and you'll receive an error from the bot. So now I'm going to add the trusted role to the shop. I'm just going to do plus shop add, then put trusted in quotation marks. Then I'm going to put the price, let's say at 100 points. And then the description I'm going to put as get this role if you are active enough. As you see, it will say item successfully added. You can do plus shop to then view your shop. And you can check your balance with plus balance to see if you can afford it. I obviously can right now. So I'm going to plus AP to add points to myself. Just mention the user and then how many points you want to add. So I'm going to add, let's say, let's just add 99 to make it 100. So now I'm going to do plus buy trusted. As you can see, I've purchased trusted and I now have the trusted role assigned to me. If you want to remove an item from the shop, you can do plus shop remove trusted. And that would remove trusted from the shop then. On the free version, Hydro allows up to five items in your shop. If you need to expand that, you can head to the Discord Experts website again, and there's Hydro Plus. So the next thing I'd recommend doing for your server is heading to top.gg. Here you'll find tons of Discord bots to add to your server for economy, memes, anything at all you could want, really. So I'd recommend Me6 handles auto moderation, leveling, and it has Twitch and YouTube alerts. So if you're doing anything with content creation, your users can get live updates when you upload or when you're streaming. Other bots such as Dino, I'd recommend for moderation and auto mod, which is really handy. And uh, also Unbelieve About handles really good with economy and Dank Memer also is a really good economy. So you can search through here. You can search for like ticket bots if you want to handle support tickets. There they all are. It's a very easy website to use. You can find many trusted bots across the whole site. So as I said earlier, a lot of growing a Discord server is about the user's experience once they join. So what I'd recommend doing is either having a friend join or having yourself join from a different account to see what you as the user would feel like as you join the server. That will sort of show you if you feel the user experience is high quality enough to release it and begin growing it. Also, I'd recommend joining the server from a test account or from a friend's account to see what the user experience is like for someone just joining. As you can see, we can see all these staff channels and client support channels, but a normal user would not be able to see those. So see what you think it's like from a user's experience. And then that way you can add or remove channels or change things to what you think would be more interesting for a user. If you don't want Automator set up while you're growing your server, you can do dash message and then click this down here and you'll get your message in a copyable format. And then you can do dash reset and this will reset your partnership advertisement. And um, once you're ready to start growing, just redo the setup command with dash setup auto partners and then paste your ad in again and you're all set to go again. If you have any questions, feel free to join the server in the description. Uh, the one that has all the invites to the bots and ask any questions in the general channel or DM TDE bot to be put in contact with a staff member.
And if you want to purchase any of the bots for upgraded features, they're available on our website at thediscordexperts.com, which will also be put in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.